Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2 but Global Effects. Or Dota 2 but Global AoE or Dota 2 but every spell hits everything on the map all the time. It's a pretty simple mode. It's kind of wild. I'm not sure if I would describe it as fun, but it is definitely funny. Anyway, Thank you very much to Onyx for making it. I'm not going to read out the description because, frankly speaking, Onyx had a bit of a stroke while writing it. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and get into the games. Probably going to be a bit of a shorter video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Anyway, if you do, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. And I'll see you guys. Everybody ready to have a really bad time? <laughs> Look at how intense this is. Like, the animation alone. I hope everybody's ready to have a really bad time. I'm gonna turn this off for now. I gotta wait until some creeps spawn in. I'm probably just never gonna leave the base, though. Actually, I'm just gonna turn it on and go AFK for a bit, right? Because we're gonna get the Voodoo Mask, and the Voodoo Mask will be healing us from everything that we hit eventually. And, and much more importantly... We get the Agonims. There we go. That should be fine. We'll get an Agonims. And that will deal damage. And I hope everybody's having a good time. Although with, with a Voodoo... I need a Voodoo Mask just so I can actually heal. Hey, Benny Yawn. <laughs> what, what are you... What are you saying? This is great. <laughs> are you telling me that this is an eyesore? What part of this? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the seven months. Alright, the creeps are about to spawn in. I do think that I shouldn't be allowed to just sit in the base, though. That feels like it's cheating. So I'm gonna actually leave the base. Uh, this isn't optimal. I should just sit in the base. But I'm just gonna go ahead and say that that would be boring. And I will disallow myself from doing so. Alright. I'm gonna take a moment until we get some kills. But it should happen eventually, right? Oh, thank you for the voodoo mask. Oh, wow. We yep, we are, we're making some money. Okay. Omni Knight. No, there we go. Healing has started. Yes! Healing! Thank you very much. Give me more of this. Alright. Okay, no, no, no. We just... We need to outlive everybody. We just need to outlive them for a little while. Okay, it's fine. No, it's fine. We are, we're, we're staying in this. We got it. <laughs> okay, no, we're still alive. We're still alive. We're still going. No! No, wait, no, no, we got healing now! <laughs> oh, it wasn't meant to be. Alright, well, now we have Hood of Defiance, and that should actually... That should actually do it. Let me turn this back on and then, again, leave the base. Oh, what is this? Some sort of poison? Alright. Pick up this right here, thank you. Just so we have this bad boy ticking. And then level up this and recast it, thank you. Oh, I'm slowed by something. Oh, blade mail. <laughs> yeah, 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 you think. But actually, that's not gonna work because I just got... Way, way, way too much spell life steal. Well, I actually don't have that much spell life steal, but it's just too many units that I'm spell life stealing off of, right? So I'm just healing way too much. All right. Just need my blade of alacrity. Just give me one moment. It'll be fine. Give me one moment. There we go. Okay, uh, so now that we figured this out, I think there's really only one other item that we need to buy, or can even buy, ethically speaking. <laughs> Very good. Oh, did I run out of creeps on the map? Yeah, that seems to be my biggest downfall, the moment that I don't have creeps to, to hit with my rod. But let me turn this off really quick. Don't worry, guys. I'll turn it on again. Uh, it's 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 a lot worse now. It's hard to tell because we can't see anybody. But you know. Uh, no, three hundred and fifteen AOE. 
That's okay, we'll still use it to push. I got an ultra kill, well isn't that just great? <laughs> what a fantastic experience for everybody involved. Oh, oh, there we go. Now, that's that's what we're talking about. Let me just go ahead and get a bloodstone going on. Oh, am I not getting flesh heap stacks for this? Shouldn't I be getting them? Hmm. Let's go ahead and throw down another one of them bad boys. Blade mail? <laughs> Blade mail, this nerds! This, by the way, is why this mode is a bad idea. Does this have, like, a really big AoE by any chance? Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and meet you on this. Hey, I am slowly pushing my way forward. Right? I'm gonna get there. Things are gonna die eventually. Oh, creeps just respawn. Very good. You know, maybe I should be getting, like, a bunch of right-click stuff so I can just push with it. Like, what if I just buy a Desolator and a Soul Cross? That doesn't seem awful. I also need to consume my Aghanims, though. Alright, Meteor Hammer. We do need creeps. Which is gonna be the difficult part, because the creeps die as soon as they spawn. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's why we're gonna need to just get some pushing material, you know? Just get some stuff that we can use to push with. We'll just break down these buildings ourselves. Also, we have our Bloodstone. We've got 32, 32 Bloodstone charges, right? That's like a good amount of spell on. Alright. I'm making my way in here. Can we push? Oh, we have creeps! We have creeps! Where did we get creeps from? That's wild, dude. Also, how dare you use Galif? <laughs> it's fun. Every four minutes, I heal to four. Because I just farm all of the creeps on the map, you know? Okay, we need to rebrand our punch a little bit, I think. Right, we need to pick up uh, some other assets for pushing mostly. We just we just need stuff that we can use to push with, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll 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 get things. Don't worry, we'll get rid of this. We don't need this, and I actually don't think we need that either. And then we get. I'm just gonna get a Sange and Yasha. <laughs> And we need to consume a moon shard, obviously. And then just a divine, is that okay? Am I allowed to just buy a divine rapier? Ah, I see they have blade mails. It's okay, I've got healing. Now I am definitely a lot more susceptible. susceptible. <laughs> I'm a lot weaker uh, in terms of survivability, but that's okay. I'll, let me just turn this off for a moment. All right, time to push. Yeah! Let me turn this on again. Thank you. I was just using it for healing for a moment. Oh, is that a blade mail? <laughs> Can I show you my secret technique called turning off my rod? <laughs> All right. I do also have a second secret technique. I, I, I have a second layer to my strategy. Chat, are you ready for it? It's called turning on my rod. Look, I didn't say it was gonna be particularly... <laughs> particularly wild, but I mean, it worked. Oh, 10% spell I steal now. Isn't that, isn't that juicy? Alright, time to push. I mean, we should be able to do this, right? Like, we actually do a good amount of damage here. Oh, hello. Let me again. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Secret strategy number one. Secret strategy number two. Very good. <laughs> Let's go, Pudge. You can do it, friend. 
That Medusa's living for a while. Alright, secret strategy number one. Okay. Here's secret strategy number one. Number two. Number one. Number two. Number one. Very good. Rampages all day, not a problem. This is what Pudge is like in his own head, right? This is how he sees himself. I need three more kills before I end this game. Come on. Alright, perfect. Big W, easy win. <laughs> You gotta have priorities, right? And, uh... You know... Wait, I was looking at Bloodstone stacks. Okay, you guys want me to have 69 kills. Alright, I can do that. I had 69 Bloodstone stacks. Alright, alright. Where's that Queen of Pain? There we go! Hey! Very good! And did we do it? We did it! Touch might be a little broken. <laughs> he might be a little strong. Okay, before we get into the second game, I found something while watching TI7. I think this is so goddamn fucking funny. I just, I needed to show you. I needed to show you. I tweeted about this too, but I just wanted to show it in a video. Here, let's just watch this clip together, okay? I uh, This is from TI7, main event day four, between, you know, two games. It doesn't really matter. You'll get it. You'll get it. Okay, let's just watch it. Here comes Slacks. Oh! <laughs> Are, is that the new hero? Wait, is, is <laughs> the shark man? Slacks? <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Don't tease no. us like that, Slacks. You know, I really feel like every year Slacks should get to design a Dota hero, and it should be put in and never balanced ever again. He was I talking agree. about his Aghanim's upgrades to heroes, and he had like 20, <laughs> 30 different su su suggestions, and all of them were so stupid that I would never want to <laughs> hear them again. But I, I, I want to hear them right now. Let's. I let, can't let's even hear. remember. You just take Slacks here and talk, and you can talk for hours about oh, it. I, I remember one, actually. There was one with Lycan, I think. Uh, the one Lycan axe, and it was if you... You could bite your allies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. You could bite your allies and they would turn into like... An he called it! He knew! <laughs> no way! Right? Oh my god, come on! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> and the best part is <laughs> that you then could, could control. So they don't call other heroes the anymore. Or something. So you yeah, get you they, the all, wolf pack. they all make fun of how ridiculous an idea this is. Right, the whole premise of this conversation. And all of them were so stupid that. I... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is this is the funniest fucking thing. <laughs> I love this clip so much. I think this is so goddamn funny. Okay, sorry. Let's get back to the game. Feel the chill. Iron Shellus. Radius 500. It is changed, but... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I mean, we're still looking at the hero! Okay, yeah, we got it. Alright. So vacuum is pretty good then. I can see vacuum is pretty good. I mean, that's fine. Uh, I am looking for some fun stuff here. Oh no, yeah, Doxia will crash the game. I think you're like super right about that. As soon as the Doxia uh, casts this and there's some creeps on the map, it's going to crash. Alright. Might be a bit of a short-lived one, but at least it'll be funny. Oh, what's going on now? Ooh. 
Hoodwink. All right. That's okay. Should be fine. I move. Okay, then. My main goal here is to get to level 6 yes. so I can click this button. Surrounds Crystal Maiden with 100 random IC explosion, blah, blah, blah. You get it. Radius 20,000, explosion radius 20,000. In other words, every goddamn explosion is going to hit everything on the map. Also known as everybody will die. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I don't know if it'll actually work, but that would be ideal. What am I getting hit by? Is it the Pangle Q? Is it Swashbuckle? Clockwork? No. I'm getting hit by by this uh, tree thing. All right, we'll get this. I mean, we gotta start spamming back a little bit here. Yeah, have have one of these. Swiftly. Quick little crystal nova. Oh no, <laughs> the suffering is already endless. I gotta say. Okay, well we're getting some creeps just with crystal nova. That's pretty good. I mean, my main concern is how do I get to level? How do I get to level six? That's what we need to figure out. Alright. We hit some stuff. <laughs> that that is very that is very annoying. Kinda surprises me that there's even enough trees on the map, to be honest. <laughs> but <laughs> I guess so. Ah come on, let me just get into the mid lane. I just I wanna be near these creeps. As they die. Good. Look at us. I'm going to go ahead and get a point into this, just so we get it during the ultimate. I mean, it's not going to matter. I hope. But maybe. We'll see. Oh, swashbuckle. The good news is that we managed to get a few levels. Right? Just a little bit. And that's, I think, already a, a great victory, my friends. We'll make it into this bottom lane. <laughs> maybe. Nine. Three, two, one. Ooh. So that's a pretty high level now, isn't it? Okay, good news is I was next to those creeps as they died. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Well, we have our Agonims and we're almost level six. We are almost there. Wait, wait, until I'm alive. And then pull him here, pull him here. Dog's here, dog's here. Come on, bring him in, bring him in. Let's do this. I move. Let's bring him in. Wait, 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 where are they? <laughs> I killed one of them, I guess. Your blood huh? Why did that not work? Your middle tower is under attack. Level 3 is bad. Oh, does level 3 not have... Oh, level 3 has the wrong value. That's funny. Okay. So Doxia needs level, uh, level 7 now. Okay, you guys ready to see if this bad boy works? I think it's time. I think we're just gonna go ahead and click the button and see what happens, right? Do we wait until everybody's alive? I do kind of want to wait. No, oh, man. I, I just want them to all be alive. Oh, I just killed them. Okay. Um. Part of me just wants to buy a BKB so I don't get interrupted during this. I don't know if I have enough money for a BKB, really, but we'll try. Alright, they are all alive. I think now is a good time. Oh, it works. <laughs> Very good. Well, good news, everybody. It does work. I did also kill the entire map uh, along with it. 
Because I like to say this every once in a while, because I think it's just kind of a fun fact. But Crystal Maiden's ultimate is the highest damaging ability in the game. Right? Now, of course, that's not really a fair statement. Because it's the highest damaging ability in the game. Assuming you hit with all of the shards. Right? Like, that's obviously cheating. Um, but at the same time... I am hitting with all of the shards. <laughs> so this time around, just this once, it genuinely is the highest damaging ability in the game. Oh my god, I've had enough of it. I've had enough of it! Get out of here. I don't want to hear about this anymore. You stop it, you you stop your your spamming and whatnot. I don't know. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well, what do I buy now? Do you just get a radiance and be a wiener with a radiance? I mean, so far, everybody's been fairly restrained and hasn't bought a Radiance yet, which is good. But at the same time... Hmm. <laughs> what are these tentacles dragging Crystal Maiden around? Where can I find more? <laughs> That's the Hoodwink. Um, what is it called? The Tree Shackling ability, but I, I forget what it's called. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna get a Radiance. Yeah. Deal with that, you wieners. There you go. How are they looking? Oh, they're hanging in there. Oh no, Radiance only has a 700 AoE! Oh no, it doesn't even work! Okay, never mind. Maybe should have checked out beforehand, but oh well. Hey, Dazed and Confused 666. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Have my Bezos Money Cat Pain Boomer. You know, I kind of understand what you're saying, but I am both insulted and confused at the same time. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and just click the button, I think. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, it's because you have like 100% damage reduction, right? I was like, why is this guy not dying? That's wild. Uh, Crystal, no way. We <laughs> that seems critical, I have to say. <laughs> the most important upgrade. By a significant margin. So how do we end... Has any tower even, like, taken damage? This is gonna be a, like, impossible game to actually end, right? We need to wait until people are high level and then kill them all with our ultimate. And then use our Crystal Maiden attack speed talent to push down a tower. <laughs> that feels... That feels like the only way, right? <laughs> I have no idea how else. Onyx never asked this question. Oh yeah, Onyx doesn't put that kind of thought into this. Onyx is perfectly happy to make a mode that is completely impossible to play, and then to just have me suffer with it. And honestly, fair. Alright. I am gonna die him. Yep. I need survivability, I think. Like a heart or something. Because again, as soon as I can drop my ultimate, People should die. Even the pango. Alright. 
There it is. That's the ultimate. Nice try. But it's got a long channel. <laughs> Was that a BKB? I think there's a uh, Hoodwink with a BKB there. Alright, I'll pick up a heart. Now I can take some hits. Very good. Now, this mode doesn't have a win condition based on kills. We could have enabled one, but it doesn't have one right now. Now, we could just say that 100 kills wins. Um, let's say... Let's say... 75 kills wins. If by that point we haven't managed to kill a tower. Okay. I do want to see if we can actually somehow push. But if by that point we still haven't managed to actually take down a building. I'm going to go out and say that's, that's enough. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go ahead and kill them guys. Oh man, look at this guy surviving. Crazy stuff. Wow, I'm really impressed that so many of them survived this. Is this nerfed in damage? No, no, it's pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. Alright, come on, come on, come on, we can do this. I don't know if we can do this. <laughs> Pango is goddamn impossible to kill. <laughs> oh, hello everybody. <laughs> Hello, everything. <laughs> oh, man. It turns out the dogs here isn't that much of a problem. Mostly because everything is dead all the time. So the fact that the dogs here can, in theory, pull the entire map isn't that significant. Because the entire map isn't really alive. I gotta say, I think this Bloodstone isn't really doing us any, any good. Hmm. We'll get rid of this, and we're just gonna fully commit into our right-click main, right? Like, we'll get rid of this, and get rid of this, and probably get rid of this and this, maybe even this, right? And just, like, go pure damage. Oh, wait! Alright, game is still going. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Very satisfying, I have to say. Come on, run out. Oh! So we get rid of this right here. And we get rid of the heart. And we'll put the refresher into the backpack. No, into the stash, right? I think it cools down fast on the stash. No, it doesn't make a difference. Um... And then we buy some stuff, right? We want a moon shard, and we want an assault cross, and we want a desolator, and probably invisibility, so we can actually get places, because a lot of these spells actually don't hit invis. Well, some of them do, though. <laughs> some of them do hit invis, which is not ideal for us, but oh well. <laughs> How are they pulling us in, by the way? Is it the power cock somehow? Marcy? <sighs> oh, we'll get this. Thank you very much. Lower cooldown on the Crystal Nova. I mean, funnily enough, if we get to level 25, then we can get the 240 Crystal Nova damage talent, which is actually pretty good talent. Alright, we're gonna fight. I probably need to get TP boots, just so I can actually get places, right? Wow! It's really impressive just how many of them actually survived this. I mean, the thing is, like, Crystal Main's ultimate, it's a ton of damage. It's not an issue of damage, that's not why they're surviving. They're surviving because they are playing smart and, and picking stuff and doing stuff that lets them deal with the damage, right? So that they don't get damaged. Oh, that's actually kind of convenient, I guess. Ah, apart from the whole being dead thing. Yeah, alright. <laughs> 
All right, all right. Yeah, I do wonder what the pulling effect is. It's either the hoodwink planting a tree here and pulling us in, which I think is more likely, or it's the power cocks. Which it could also be the power cocks. I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, BKB is active, but BKBs are gonna be running low. I think it's the power cocks actually. All right, coming in. Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We can do this. We can get in there. I just need level I just I just need level 20 still actually. <laughs> Turns out right now I'm just a crystal main with with some shitty items. Alright, go, 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 go. No! No! We are so close! Power cocks push, not pull. No, power cocks they have like an inward pulling effect as well, right? Like, when you cast Power Cocks and somebody's like a little bit away from you, they will get pulled in so that they're inside of the Power Cocks effect. So, while they push, if you're outside of the Power Cocks and you run into them, if you're like in between that area, right? Like, and it's just like a little bit, then it pushes you in. Hmm? Okay. I mean, like, my general plan is mostly just to respawn and then kill their team. I mean, I should do something, right? Man, I am very impressed by how long they are surviving for. That is kind of crazy. Alright, um, well, we haven't managed to kill this tower, so... <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and say 100 kills takes it. Alright, let's just go up to 100. Let's just see if we can... Uh, Maybe get that. Is Blink Dagger global? Is it? No. Your middle tower is under attack. No, no, no. Your middle tower has I mean, they are kind of pushing in here. Woo. Vacuum is always kind of wild. Oh, that torrent storm! That's filthy. Alright, oh, that's just straight up disgusting. Look at the torrent storm. Okay. Let's get the hoodwink. <laughs> Where do you think you're going, huh? Alright, nowhere. Alright, we have freezing field leveled up now. Oh, that's actually convenient. No, it's not convenient. We can't push their base. Then we can kill them. Oh. Yeah, Clockwork is definitely the one pulling us in. Okay, we're still alive. No, we can't push their base because we haven't pushed any of their towers. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there I go again. What's this? Slash width, 20,000. Oh, that's a pretty wide slash, I gotta say. Rapier on the ground. I saw the rapier, don't worry. But, like, the reason why I don't have a rapier isn't because I can't afford it. Right? It's because it wouldn't be that useful. Because I would just die immediately and then not have a rapier anymore. Although, admittedly, it's probably better than having the silver edge. 
Uh, not like it's gonna matter that much either way, but, you know. Grab this. Oh, wait, hello. Oh, man, these power cocks, I, I really gotta say. <laughs> This is not what I expected Clockwork to do, um, but here we are. He certainly is pulling us in from very far away. Seems they're gonna take it, 10 more kills. Yeah, this is not the first time a mode like this has been made, as you might guess. There's been quite a few iterations of something similar to this. And honestly, they more or less always play out exactly like this one. Which is, you know, it's okay. We can do this every once in a while. But it's one of those concepts where it sounds really fun in theory, but you sit there and you come up with it and you're like, yeah, that's gonna be great. And then you put it into the game and you're like, oh no, oh, oh no, oh no, oh yeah, oh that's the, oh yeah, obvi oh obviously. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay. Um. Alright, let me... I am... I am, uh... The Crystal Assassin. I'm gonna go ahead and get a tower kill. Maybe. Thanks for getting me close. That's all I want. Come on, we can get this tower. We did it. Big W. Honestly, I see that as a huge win. All around great success, I gotta say. It's really interesting how Clockwork ended up interacting with all of this stuff. I always like that when you have a hero and they just... You know, you have one expectation, and they kind of meet it, but then there's also another thing that they do, and it's just like, wait, this is very different from what I what I thought was going to happen, but okay, kind of makes sense, I guess. Oh, no. Yeah, I feel like we were holding up pretty well, up till the point where the clockwork started pulling us into the fountain. Which you might say, hey, isn't that the same thing that the, uh, that the, uh, what's his, what's his face? Oh, no, 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 no. That the Doxio is doing? And like, yeah, yeah, totally, totally the same thing. But Doxio has a much longer cooldown, which changes things substantially. All right, come on. Now is our time. We just... Need to make it into their base before getting killed by this pango. And then get this tower. <laughs> you know, it's really difficult. <laughs> pango just has such a low cooldown and such a powerful ability. <laughs> yeah, I think they're gonna just, just take it in a moment here. I'm definitely trying to push. It's just kind of hard to do. And one more. Ursa's tanking stuff. Can you do it, buddy? Can you get 17 kills before you die? Oh, the S1. Okay, that last kill is really taking its time. Oh, oh, this is looking bad. This is looking... Oh, they got it. There you go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and drop one last ultimate. Just because it's the good stuff, right? Oh, that's how the Pango is surviving this. Very smart. Very smart. And now I want to kill this Pango. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, my God. I thought we had him. <laughs> He's not taking damage. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll leave it at that. GG, friends. You got it. You did it. 
That's that's very funny. All right then. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. With that, we appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.